Well, first in our top stories this morning, abortion advocates are celebrating after the Supreme Court decided to protect access to the abortion pill mifepristone. But the court is leaving the door open for new challenges, which means access to mifepristone remains the same for now. ABC's Christian Cordero reports. This morning, a unanimous Supreme Court decision protecting access to the abortion pill brings near unanimous reaction beyond the bench. It's not over. In the case, a group of anti-abortion rights medical professionals challenged the FDA's regulation around mifepristone, accusing the administration of unlawfully easing restrictions around the drug. In the court's opinion, Justice Brett Kavanaugh writes, the plaintiffs have failed to demonstrate that FDA's relaxed regulatory requirements likely would cause them to suffer an injury. While noting the plaintiffs have sincere legal, moral, ideological, and policy objections to elective abortion and to FDA's relaxed regulation of mifepristone, but that because they weren't personally injured, the case doesn't have legal standing. The court did not weigh in on whether the FDA was right to roll back restrictions, leaving the door open to future cases. This is the same district court that already has allowed several states, the states of Kansas, Idaho, and Missouri, to intervene. We continue the fight. It is not over. We'll be back with another case with better standing next time. The ruling keeps mifepristone available by mail in most states where abortion is legal. In other words, status quo, which Vice President Harris says is not reason to celebrate. We are looking at the fact that two-thirds of women of reproductive age in America live in a state with a Trump abortion ban. This ruling is not going to change that. It's been two years since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. In Congress, the issue has expanded to include access to contraception and IVF. This week, Senate Republicans blocked a package of bills that would protect IVF access nationwide in a 48-47 vote. It needed 60 to move forward. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington. Senate Republicans have called that bill a political show and overreach. The Supreme Court still has 24 opinions to get through and is set to release as many as four more decisions today.